All right, welcome back to Immaculate Wealth. We try to put you in the money, put you in the money mindset. Be able to create wealth and help others. Mastering your money emotions. Emotional intelligence is as critical for financial success as it is for relationships. Your money habits are often driven by subconscious emotional patterns. High emotional intelligence correlates strongly with better financial outcomes. Many financial mistakes stem from unchecked emotional reactions. Understanding your money emotions can lead to more consistent investment returns. Emotional intelligence helps in negotiating better deals and salaries. Managing financial stress effectively is a key component of emotional intelligence. Impulse spending is often a result of poor emotional regulation. Emotionally intelligent people are better equipped to handle financial setbacks. Your childhood childhood experience with money shape your current financial emotions. Couples with high emotional intelligence typically have healthier financial relationships. Emotional intelligence can help break generational cycles of poor money management. Now, fear and anxiety often lead to overly conservative financial decisions. Impulsive spending is frequently triggered by unaddressed emotional needs. Shame around money prevents many from seeking necessary financial advice. Overconfidence can result in risky and poorly thought out investments. Financial disagreements are a leading cause of relationship stress and divorce. Many people use money as a substitute for emotional fulfillment. Emotional decision making often leads to buying high and selling low in investments. It's not a good deal. Financial peer pressure can derail even the best laid financial plans. Money-related stress negatively impacts physical and mental health. Emotional attachment to possessions often hinders necessary financial changes. Guilt about spending can prevent enjoyment of well-earned rewards. Unresolved emotional issues often manifest as self-sabotaging financial behaviors. So here's some things we can do. Practice financial mindfulness. Regularly check in with your emotions when making money decisions. Ask yourself, am I making this choice based on logic or emotion? Develop a financial gratitude practice. Daily acknowledge what you're financially grateful for. This reduces anxiety and promotes an abundance mindset. I'm thankful I got 
a roof over my head. Even if I didn't have food to eat. <laughs> At least I got shelter. Not like I need food for a while. <laughs> All right. Create an emotional spending log. When you make unplanned purchases, note what you were feeling. This helps identify emotional spending triggers. Use the 24-hour rule for a non for non-essential purchases. Wait 24 hours before buying. This allows the initial emotional rush to subside, promoting more rational decisions. Practice financial self-compassion. Treat financial mistakes as learning opportunities rather than failures. This reduces shame and encourages proactive problem solving. Implement if-then planning. Prepare responses for emotional financial triggers. For example, if I feel tempted to impulse buy, then I'll review my financial goals. Enhance financial communication with partners or family. Use statements like, hmm, I feel when discussing money to promote understanding and reduce conflict. Hmm, I don't know about that one. Put that one on the back burner. All right. Develop a financial support network. Surround yourself with emotionally intelligent people who support your financial goals. Use visualization techniques. Regularly, regularly visualize achieving your financial goals to strengthen emotional and resilience during challenges. Practice stress reduction techniques, incorporate meditation or deep breathing exercises, especially before making significant financial decisions. Conduct regular financial health checks, review your financial situation objectively, acknowledging both progress and areas of improvement without judgment. Seek professional help when needed. Work with a financial therapist or coach to address deep-seated money emotions and behaviors. Okay, there are some other things you can do. In the meantime, start your financial mindfulness practice today. Set a reminder to check in with your emotions before making any purchase. Begin a money gratitude journal, writing three things you're financially grateful for each day. Create your emotional spending log and use it for the next week. Implement the 24-hour rule on your next non-essential purchase. Share in the comments one financial mistake you've made and what you learn from it. Have an open, emotionally intelligent money co conversation with a family member or partner this week. Identify one person who can be part of your financial support network and reach out to them. Try a five-minute visualization of your best financial goals. Download a meditation app and use it before your next financial decision. Conduct your first financial health check and share one insight in the comments. Research financial coaches in your area. Don't forget 
check out our five day money mindset course link in the description to further develop your financial emotional intelligence okay thank you for being with us check in with yourself check in with others And we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.